Hello everyone, and welcome to my EastEnders Media News channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Following her return to Albert Square, Bianca Jackson has a new love interest revealed by EastEnders. Earlier this year, the character returned to Walford, where the plot revolved around the departure of Whitney Dean, her adoptive daughter. Junior, George Knight's son, arrives at the same time that she is returning, and next week's scenes will feature their inevitable meeting. George's family has advised him against fighting in order to overcome his troubles, but he has turned to underground boxing as a means to cope with his anger and guilt over a number of personal concerns. Gina tries to use extortion to persuade George to stop fighting, but her scheme backfires and chaos ensues as Elaine, Cindy, and Anna argue. After Anna leaves a message for Junior about their father's altercation, George is taken aback when Junior shows up to break up the argument. After the ordeal, the party returns to the Vic, but Junior quickly quits since he feels uncomfortable there and chooses to go to Peggy's instead. He runs across Bianca there, and the two end up falling in love and sharing a bed. Will there be awkwardness and conflict in the square as a result of this? Patsy Palmer played Bianca again five years after her last appearance. The actress recently shared memories of her time on the soap opera and gave a sneak peek at her next scenes. I was in awe of everyone when I walked onto the other lot because there was Pete Beal and Doc Cotton there, and I just remember feeling so surreal, she recalled. It always seems brand new, and you want to return there with an open mind. You never truly want to return here with the same perspective. I no longer think here the way I did when I left. Although it's a new experience, the location is the same. With a daring move, Bianca Jackson appends the status quo. EastEnders spoilers revealed that Junior Knight, George's estranged son, is the Walford icon's bedfellow. Recently, Bianca came back to Albert Square to help Whitney, her adopted daughter. However, the woman's week hasn't exactly been peaceful. She first discovered Zach's liaison with Lauren Branning, her best friend. Then, Bianca saw Whitney in the Queen Vic unintentionally pop the question to Zach. It's time for another explosion now. Look it over. Spoilers for EastEnders. Bianca sleeps with a very unexpected person. According to EastEnders spoilers, Bianca feels guilty about harboring secrets, especially when she is asked to be Whitney's maid of honor. During the wedding dress fittings, the women will experience a touching moment together. After his grandmother Gloria's burial ceremony, George Knight is shocked to encounter his estranged son, Junior, in Walford. Furthermore, Junior's visit results in unanticipated meetings, such as one at Peggy's with Bianca. In the end, the two sleep together. Whitney learns later about Bianca's involvement in Brittany's market theft. She then demands that Bianca leave her life and takes away her responsibilities as maid of honor. Lauren steps forward to rescue the day by getting Whitney a new hen costume. When Lauren is asked to attend the wedding in Bianca's place, though, she finds herself in conflict. Tensions are high at the joint hen and stag do because Whitney refuses to apologize. Moreover, Bianca offers Lauren a deadline. Either Lauren tell Whitney about her romance with Zach, or Bianca will. This is revealed by EastEnders spoilers. Penny shows up in the meanwhile, luring Whitney and Lauren to the taco van before locking them inside. However, as Whitney's water breaks and their cries for assistance go unanswered, the situation drastically changes. Two Walford icons may be getting back together on EastEnders, 21 years after they were married on the BBC soap opera. According to spoilers, the former couple calls their quits and then tries to get back together six years later by acting as a matchmaker. Many of their followers have long yearned for the couple to reunite after a turbulent past. About six years after Kat Slater discovered Alfie Moon's terrible treachery and destroyed their romance, the former couple is expected to get back together. The famous couple had a lot of ups and downs before then, even though they did manage to get their own spin-off show apart from Walford. 
While some viewers are excited for them to be back together and have called them relationship goals, others have not been sold on their reconciliation in recent years. Regardless of what viewers may think, spoilers suggest that they may eventually reconcile despite Alfie's cancer treatment. Since their divorce, the two have stayed close, with Kat supporting Alfie after he was diagnosed while she was divorcing Phil Mitchell. Even if she has previously said that they wouldn't get back together, it's obvious that sentiments still exist. Next week's spoilers indicate that, much to Alfie's surprise, Kat plans a celebratory dinner for him and his sons at Walford East after his hormone therapy treatment concludes. Tommy, Kat's kid, observes Alfie's actions toward her during the day and believes he still has feelings for her. Tommy inquires of stepfather Alfie about this and if he would like to reconcile with Kat, who is currently single. We don't know what Alfie says to him, but it's obvious that it motivates him to act. Tommy tries to set up Kat and Alfie later in the week, when he brings the twins home and leaves them by themselves. Will Kat and Alfie, however, be aware of his plans and share Tommy's desires? Tommy is obviously eager for his parents to get back together after all these years, but it's unclear if that will happen. Watchers will have to wait until next week to see what happens. But now, George is thinking, I knew you were a wrong un and I didn't like the way you treated mum, and you bullied us all our lives, so to speak. As a father and a man, George has realized that this is unacceptable and that no one should have to live that way. Growing up, he felt that this was normal. Thus, George finds it difficult to comprehend what Eddie done. But he understands how much Gloria adored George, and he comes to the conclusion that Eddie had to love Gloria in order to go to such lengths for her in order to allow her to keep the child. It's love, twisted love, that is. On Thursday at 7.30 p.m., Yolanda Truman worries that Chelsea Fox may be Pastor Clayton's next casualty. See our TV guide for a complete schedule. Yolanda becomes concerned when Denise Fox tells her that Chelsea is meeting with Gideon one-on-one -on -one over Jordan's impending baptism. Fearful Yolanda rushes to the community center after learning that she is the most recent victim of the pastor's sexual assault. Yolanda storms into the building and tells a stunned Chelsea, who's simply been sitting there sipping tea, to get out of there right away. Yolanda's request seems urgent to her and Levi, but she swiftly retracts it because she is too scared and ashamed to acknowledge what happened to her. Yolanda's outburst is reported to Patrick Truman by Chelsea and Denise back at home, who also encourage him to schedule an appointment for her to see a doctor. Yolanda, meantime, is being intimidated by Pastor Clayton in the square. She valiantly defends herself by forbidding him from attending Jordan's baptism. Yolanda, tormented by her malevolent abuser, comes home to pray but becomes preoccupied and forgets she left the oven on. By the time Patrick returns, the hob is on fire and the fire alarm is blaring. Will Yolanda be forced to acknowledge the depth of her anguish by the perilous incident? In the meantime, Anna Knight speaks with her grandfather Eddie against the desires of her family. Due to the racist motivation behind the death of Henry Kofi Asare, George's biological father, his adoptive father is incarcerated. Eddie called George to his house after his wife Gloria passed away. However, the meeting came to an abrupt end when Eddie ruthlessly refused to grant any of Gloria's last wishes and forbade George from attending his mother's funeral. When Anna calls Eddie, she finds out that Gloria's funeral has already happened, which makes her sad. How is she going to tell George the news? One family will also get a surprise when they go to the Vic and run into a guest who is in the area to see Johnny Carter. Who might that be? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.